Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, you can see, this is the old cat. He's decided he's going to sleep on my bed today. It's getting, the weather is stupid, hence why I have my sock head hat on today. We've had rain off and on for the past. We're going into our second day. And it's been kind of looking like it's going to rain, but we've only had kind of like spitting and drizzly nonsense. So, but it's getting a little bit cold, so I thought I'd put my sock head hat on. Um, I need to make myself like a cowl or something. I have a couple of infinity scarves, um, but sometimes it's just nice to have a cowl. I should try and finish that one from Tin Can Knits that I haven't touched since I messed it up. But, um, you yeah. so yes. Um, and I'm not in my usual spot. Ignore the mess behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been trying to organise things a little bit and move stuff around and... <sighs> anyway. So, I am drinking a coffee today in my... Gloria Jean's mug. Uh, I think someone said, I think it was, was it you, Angie? I think that said um, that you have Gloria Jean's in America as well. Um, it's just a coffee place, kind of, kind of like Starbucks, but actually, I think their prices are about the same. Yeah, they just kind of have all the same sort of things as um, Starbucks do. Unfortunately, I'm not drinking Starbucks coffee today. This is just um, my favourite brand of the freeze-dried coffee, which if you live in Australia, it's called Makona. I finished the last lot of that, and that brand, I don't believe it was on special anyway, or not that I looked. So I just got the Aldi brand, and let's face it, it's probably all made in the same factory. But yes, gotta have hot coffee today. few noises my mum's doing something in her craft room so and that's like right next door so I have one well I had technically it was two finished objects but I will only be able to show you a photo because they have gone to the recipient this morning um, it was I did post a photo on Instagram and Snapchat they were little baby beanies. Um, that size I did with my 4mm hook. And then I started doing one with my 5.5 hook. And I just, I didn't feel like there was enough variation in the sizes. So I went up to a 6. And that seemed to, to work better. And I said to her, if you have any problems, they don't fit or whatever, then let me know. Um, she said she's probably going to get me to make... Sorry, my hair is making me itch. It's like right up against the back of my neck. It's making me itch. Um, she's going to get me to make some more as well. So it was awesome to sell those. Um, I think I'm actually going to make a few more in some different colours. I'm thinking I have... Where I put it? I think it's actually up there. Um, Big W here in Australia, which is kind of like Walmart, I guess, in the States. Um, they've started stocking Red Heart yarn. They had it a while ago, um, but it was only the thicker, um, weight of yarn. And now they're stocking, I think it's just, it's the big, I think they're even bigger than the Super Saver ones. Um, they're stocking that and the gumdrops colours as well. Um, I do have a little bit of that left. I've already made one hat in that and I'm going to make another hat um, using that pattern that I made the other little black hats out of. Um, and I'll list a few of those on Etsy but hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to get to Big W because the closest one's an hour away. Um, I, th I don't know if they have it online. I'm kind of funny about ordering online from somewhere where I haven't ordered before. If I know what they're like and I know they've got pretty good customer service, I'll order from them, but I don't know that they would have the wool online. Um, 
But yeah, apparently they have quite a few colours. Um, I was making a blanket out of it, but um, I just I wasn't happy with how the yarn felt and I wasn't happy with how it came out. So I actually donated some of the finished squares, well pretty much all the finished squares and the yarn that went with it to the thrift store. So someone else can get some use out of it. They can, you know, um, unravel it and unpick it if they want to and use it. I just thought I'm not going to get back to finishing it, so it cleared out a couple of project bags. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get some more of that. And I, I think it's fairly reasonably priced. Sometimes when we get stuff from overseas, obviously, and it gets imported in, the price gets jacked up. But I think it's actually pretty reasonable. So, yeah. The other project that I'm working on is a hat for myself. <clears throat> I'm kind of basing it off the sock head hat pattern. Um, this is more of a thicker four ply yarn. This is the four ply luxury cream from the Bendigo Woolen Mills. Um, and I actually hand dyed this myself. Um, and I knew it was going to be a hat eventually, I just wasn't sure what um, kind of hat it was going to be. And can I say, I love these chai goos. Love them. Um, I will admit, you do need to be a little bit careful. I have dropped a couple of stitches, but I did manage to save them. Good old little itty bitty crochet hook comes in handy. Um, but yeah, I just, I love, you can kind of see. There's a bit of colour pooling with the blue and the green. I just I love it. Um, this was in the cream colourway. It's kind of like a, as the name suggests, it's a cream colour. And I just went, you know, I'm going to dye that. See how it goes. It's a four ply. So, um, yeah, that's it there. So I will definitely probably have, like with the yarn that I used for this. Obviously this was a lot thinner of a yarn than this one but I will definitely have more of this left over. Um, <clears throat> I'll definitely be putting um, some of it into my sock yarn blanket um, and I was thinking, I was on Instagram the other day and Alison who is from Flock and Needle on Etsy she created the Gilmore Girls uh, colorway collection I do have all the colours, of course, because you can't have R Rory and Lorelei without having everyone else. That's just not right, in my opinion. Um, and I was thinking the other day, you know what? I really want to pull out, because I've only started knitting the squares for my blanket. I'm doing, like, crocheted squares. I may put a backing on it. I don't know. It's going to take quite a while to crochet it up. Um... But I'm thinking that I want to pull out the Lorelei skein and actually make a sock head hat out of it. I've heard people say that once you make one sock head hat, you want to keep going and make more. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um, but I want a Lorelei hat. So I may, down the road, order another Lorelei skein um, to go into my blanket. But... Um, I haven't touched that in a while. I really need to drag that out again um, and and do that. But um, yeah. So that's as far as I've got on that hat. Um, I'll probably do maybe another inch and then I'll start doing the body of the hat. But I really, really like how it's knitting up. <coughs> And a lot of people have said they really like the colours, so I'd like to try and replicate it, but I cannot for the life of me remember what I did. I really need to write down notes for that, but... Then I also started on my mum's hat, which she is happy about. And I have it in this bag, which I made myself. I'm using, of course, again, Chai Goos. These ones are the 5mm. Those ones that I just showed you are 3mm. Or so, I think they're size... Actually, I can't remember. These 5mm are an 8, size 8. Um, 
as you can see I haven't got very far but it, it's gonna knit up fairly quickly I've just kind of done a little bit of the brim of the hat and I have one of my um, my Eiffel Tower stitch marker on there I'm using two yarns from the Bendigo Wool Mill I cannot remember what they are I will have to put annotations down here because I can't remember I don't have the tags in here because I split um, for those of you who don't know the Bendigo Wool Mills yarn typically come in 200 gram balls which is really good value for money and I just split them into two so I have this bright red this is like um, Disney Cru Cruella de Vil red lipstick that's the kind of colour it is it's like bright bright and then I have this one this is their linen fleck and this one the, I think because this isn't as treated as what the other one is it still has that really strong merino smell to it which when I first I had this this yarn stored in here for a little bit and I opened up the bag to start knitting on it I'm like whoa smells like a stinky sheep in there which I don't mind the smell of yarn like this but I step into a shearing shed and oh, makes me want to gag I think it's the sheep poo and the smell of the wool that gets together that I just don't like. So those are the projects that I'm working on. Um, this bag is what I had the um, the yarn for the little hats in. And for that I was using the uh, Four Seasons Marvel 12 ply. The other yarn that I got for them just really wasn't working. It was splitting. And I even tried going up a hook size and that didn't help either. And I didn't want to go down a size because then it would be I've got half all of this but left this and this I have worked well. Think, so another one, maybe. Um, and this stuff is fairly inexpensive. It's just the Spotlight brand. Because um, it's actually kind of hard to get a decent black acrylic, I've found. I don't know. Maybe it's just over here, but... Then moving on to get stash enhancement, I got my stitch markers in and I'm just going to show you the ones that I got for myself. If I can get the bag open. Now some of you may be familiar with Claire who is Bob Wilson123, she does um, crochet tutorials here on YouTube and she started selling stitch markers and I saw them and I was like they are adorable but then by the time I got onto her page um, her group I should say um, they were <laughs> most of them were sold out so I had to wait um, for her next next round but she included her business card which I do not have here um, I got another little badge so that's going to go up here with um, Pam and Kathy's badges and also my pin that says whoever dies with the most yarn wins that I got from um, Twisted Threads in Geelong so that's going to go up there. I got a set of five of the sheep switch markers. I'll have to include like close up photos so you guys can see these but um, I'd been wanting to get some of these for a while and I saw she had a set of five of them up so I got those and I also got this, you could use it as a progress keeper, it's just a mermaid if you guys can, probably can't see that from there but um, yeah, had to get those and unfortunately I cannot share the rest with you Because they're going to somebody else. Then I went into, I think I spoke about this on Snapchat, I went into my local, like it's kind of, she has fabric and yarn and like sewing accessories and things and I went in there to get some more zippers for project bags 
and I saw this particular yarn and I kind of was thinking about it. My mom's like, you should just go buy it because if you don't, someone else is going to buy it and then you won't be able to get it at all. So I had a little bit of extra money and so I decided to <laughs> treat myself to some yarn. I feel like I need more. But um, I actually didn't know this brand did um, sock yarn. But this is the King Cole Zigzag. Four ply yarn. It says it's suitable for socks. This is $16.95. As you can see, it has the beautiful purples in there. It's very tonal. Kind of reminds me of one of the um, Stroll yarns from Knit Picks. Um, and the yardage on this thing, I didn't even look at it until I got it home. For 100 grams, there's 448 meters, which is 493 yards. That would get a pair of socks and a hat, most likely. Um, I was thinking about maybe trying again with a pair of socks, but I think I may keep this for sure. Um, because the yardage on this wouldn't be more than enough for most of the kind of beginner friendly shawl patterns and it's my favourite colours so why not but um yeah they she had a bunch of other colours of these and she also had which I don't think she had it when I was last in there um she has some of the Ani and Carlos um sock yarn and I'm pretty sure she had the same colourway that I saw Eric from Six plus the six plus twine podcast. Um, he's I believe he's making a pair of socks out of that, and that's kind of what draw me drew me to that colorway. I was like, hang on, I think I've seen that before, and I picked it up and looked at it, and I was like, yeah, sure enough, it was the um, Onion Carlos line, and it actually wasn't too badly priced either. So I got that one, um, and a while back I picked up a skein of this yarn, and I saw that she had the other color there, and I thought. I'm going to get it because these are only 50 gram balls and I wanted to make something nice with it. Um, it's the Wisdom Yarns Poems Silk. It's 50 grams, um, 100 meters or 109 yards, 75% wool, 25% silk. And it's in the color 804 Angel, Angel Falls. So, and it just has some really beautiful colors in it. So, um, and they're both both from the same dye lot, so now I have two of that. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but there was only one more of this left, so I snapped it up, and that was ten ninety five. And I have a um, lo loyalty card with that store, so I think once you get to your tenth purchase, my purse is right here, so I will tell you. Where did it go? Here it is. Um, yeah, for each purchase of over $10, you get one stamp. And then on your 10th purchase, you receive 10% off your total purchase, which is pretty good. And I generally save that for, like, nicer yarns or fabric sometimes. But yes, if you have suggestions for um, a pattern using this one, um, let me know. They had some other pretty colours there too, but I just got the one. Then I also picked up um, this issue of Knit Today. That's what the cover looks like. It's issue 121. They have some pretty nice patterns in here. They do have a simple beginner's sock pattern, which I'll admit kind of drew me to the whole magazine. Um, and they have quite a few other nice kind of wintery uh, patterns in here as well. Um, a lot of chunkier uh, patterns as well. Here it is. And, like, I'm all good until I get to the heel and the toes. I just, I, d I don't know. And they're doing the um, afterthought heel. 
which I've watched a few videos on it. It doesn't seem as scary as what I think it is in my own head, I'm sure. But I am going to give socks a go. I'm going to keep going. I mean, I persisted with teaching myself to knit, so I'm sure eventually I will get the hang of knitting socks. It'll just take a while. Um, and free with this issue, I mean, seriously, I don't know that I'll ever use these, but they gave you a pair of 10 mil straight bamboo knitting needles. Um, I don't honestly like knitting straight needles. I mean, hello, this one isn't even straight. Can you guys see that? So that'd be great. I'm waiting for it to just snap in my hands. That'll be what happens. It's not even sh this one's straight. Well, that one's not. So, I don't know, they'll probably eventually get donated to the thrift store or something. Because, I don't know, I just prefer... Um, I don't know, I, I kind of like knitting in the round now. I don't know. But, yeah. Um, also, quickly wanted to mention that... Knit Picks is having a sale. It is 15% off, I believe, um, on your entire purchase. So the code for that is SAVE in capital letters and the number 15, just one five. I'll put that in the description box. It goes till the 23rd, which I believe is Wednesday. Yep, yeah, Wednesday. So, um, and... I think they were already having a sale on their fing some of their fingering weight yarns anyway. Um, and I mean, I have quite a few fingering weight yarns as it is, but um, I sold some of my Bendigo Woolen Mills stash because it's been sitting in my yarn stash for a while, at least a year, if not a bit more. And I didn't have any plans on using it for anything, and I'm like, this is just ridiculous. Like, I might as well sell it and buy some either some other yarn that I really want to try or some yarn to dye up um, and to McValley yarns is having an update tonight if you're in that group on Facebook um, she's an Australian dyer um, and whatever doesn't sell in those updates goes into her Etsy shop um, so I may have a look. Um, generally, she puts up a preview album, so you can kind of see, excuse me, see what um, she's selling. Her prices are really reasonable. Um, I've tried her DK weight yarn before. I don't know. I do have a little bit left over from it here, um, and I crocheted a hat out of that. Um, so I'd like to try her fingering weight yarn. We'll see what uh, what she has in her update. But like I said, she always puts up a preview album, which actually should be going up soon. Um, and what I do, it's a bit sneaky, but what I do is if there's a couple of yarns that I like, it's, her updates generally happen at about 7 o'clock at night. So I'll go on Facebook at, you know, 10 to 7, 5 to 7, and the individual yarns, I will open those up in a new window and write sold in the comments. Then I'll wait till the clock on my computer hits like 7 or 7, no, a little bit after 7, and I'll click the button to say sold. Otherwise, you don't get, you don't, don't get, 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 the, get the yarn you want. You get, essentially, you almost get, like, cart jacked, like on Etsy. Um, yeah. But, yeah, she has some really beautiful yarns. They're really, really nice. And her shipping is really, really quick as well. Um, I also have three things coming in the mail. Um, I have my, my bag finally shipped from Mrs. Brown's Bags. That's coming from Canada. Um, it shipped a week ago today. So I'm hoping by at least Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and I'll be able to show you that in my next podcast. I also ordered uh, two books from the Book Depository because they have free worldwide shipping. And both of the books that I wanted... Um, I could get one on Knit Picks, but I couldn't get the other. For some reason, it was unavailable. Um, so I just ordered them from the Book Depository because they were both on sale for $17, I think. Um, 
and like it's it's free shipping so I got both books for $35. The only thing that's kind of annoying though is they've shipped them individually. Like obviously I'm not paying for shipping so it's not that big of a deal but I think it's maybe because one of the books that I got is like a spiral bound book. Maybe that's why they ship them individually. Um, it does state on their website that some things do ship individually but um, I don't know. And it says between five to eight days to get here from the UK so I'd say probably not next week the week after they will probably be here um, and I will show you those when they arrive I actually can't wait to get them because I've been wanting to get both of them for a while when I saw that they were on sale in there I thought I don't have to pay for shipping and they're on sale for a good deal so I might as well snap them up because normally I think one of them was at least 20 something I think one was maybe like 25 26 dollars on its own so it was a really good deal but yeah that's pretty much it for my podcast this week um I've just been trying to catch up with everyone's podcasts and I'm a little bit behind I'm just I've got my laptop open here I'm watching um Lara from the four knits I'm watching about about halfway through her podcast, so I'm trying to to catch up on that. The Australian dollar has gone up a little bit. It's about 75 cents to the US dollar. Still not high enough for me to warrant buying from the US yet until it gets up to, you know, 80, 85 cents, which is probably not going to happen anytime soon. So that's why it's cheaper for me to buy from Canada at the moment because, um, the dollar, the Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar is just a lot better than the US. Which sucks, but um, everything on nitpicks is in Australian dollars, so that's why as soon as you get to the $60 free shipping, it's a good deal. Because as we know, international shipping is crazy. Crazy, crazy. And I know how crazy it's getting because I... Um, went to price um, a package that I was sending out. I'm doing a swap and it is a little bit crazy to send things internationally these days. Um, even small packages, it doesn't matter if it's small package, big package, it's international shipping is, is loony. It really is. It's just, it's nutty. It's nutty. But anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. All my social media links will be in the description box on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, if you have Snapchat, um, and I have my shop on Etsy. Um, I need to put a few more things in there. I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe transitioning off Etsy and just selling via my Facebook page. I think people have had a little bit more success doing it that way. Um, and, like, I seem to have gotten more business through word of mouth and people seeing things on my Facebook page so I think I may end up selling through there um, I don't know, I haven't decided yet anyway I'm gonna go thank you all so much for watching and I know I have a few new subscribers so thank you for coming over and subscribing to my channel I hope you enjoy the podcast and hopefully I will see you all back for the next one, which today is Saturday, so it might be towards the end of next week. We'll see. Um, hopefully I will have better news for you on the job front by then. Um, I got an email saying I was unsuccessful for one of the jobs that I applied for, which sucks. Um, I haven't heard back from the other one yet, but... I'm going to go. I've been rambling on for long enough now. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.